Hi everyone, not had a chance to make any videos recently, been a bit too busy working on various bikes and things. Like... Wanted to go over some gear that I've used on my gravel ride, uh, pros, cons and new stuff. So on my bike I use two kinds of pedals, Clipless, this is an old version of uh, the candy ones that I use and flats. This is a nuke proof neutron Evo. So these are cheap, strong, they've got pins that are adjustable and as long as you make sure that this nut here has been well torqued down uh, they shouldn't give you any problems. I did have one come off almost because this wasn't properly talked down and it came loose and the whole thing was basically sliding in and out of the axle. Um, to go with those pedals I use these Shimano GR7. So they're pretty good. They're grippy, solid, they've got a nice neoprene ankle cuff to keep out pedals, dirt, stuff. And there's plenty of room in the tote box, so a lot of shoes for me they're a bit too narrow, they end up a bit pressed at the front. Um, whereas yeah, the, these things are great. I find that Shimano shoe shape and sizing for me is spot on. So for running about on mountain bike trails and messing around in general, these are a great setup. Then for gravel rides or the road, I switch out to clipless pedals. Uh, as I said, these are an old version, but I use candy ones on my bike. I've just not bothered to take them off right now. These are older candy C's. And uh, they're very affordable. They provide a little bit of float, which means that you're not stuck in without being able to move at all before it unclips. Um, and it means I can, you know, move my feet around uh, during long rides. I don't have to, you know, you can kind of get a bit of flex in your ankle and your legs. Uh, they're not the easiest pedals to clip out of because of that. Uh, you need to kind of give it a bit more of a twist before, before you actually become unclipped. Um, so if I actually see uh, a surface that looks a bit slippery or some thick mud, I do have a tendency to unclip one pedal uh, early just to be prepared to pop it down a foot, something that doesn't always work quite well with my current shoes. So my current shoes are the Shimano XC5 for clippers. Um, they're adventure oriented shoes, fairly stiff, fairly lightweight, uh, with a lot more grip than the road shoe. I do love these shoes. I find that the, the lacing is great. There's this middle section here which sort of separates the two lacing sections from each other, which means that you can tighten this part less than this part or vice versa. I have been putting most of the miles on these. And I do find that Shimano provide me with the best fit so far. I can't say I've tried all the other brands, um, but these are the ones that I found fit my feet the best of the ones I have tried. Some of them are, are a bit narrow on the front, a bit, you know, be a bit that sort of jabs in on the side or something like that. The build quality on both of these shoes is great. They put up with all sorts of weather, and the only thing that is an issue with these clipless ones is that now it's getting colder, my feet are getting pretty cold. Even with overshoes on, um, it's not enough to keep my toes warm. So guess what brand I bought from when I was looking for a good winter shoe? Surprise, surprise! These, uh, the Shimano MW5, which are a mid-height, winter weather thermal and weatherproof waterproof boot. They have a double velcro tongue. So that side over there, 
from this side over here. Um, they have a fast lay system, which is a bit stiff to get started, but uh, basically means you can tighten them up pretty quickly. Just yanking down on that. Um, they're pretty good tread. Not you know heavy duty enduro boot tread, but certainly better than what was on the um, XC5s. And still fairly slim. Nothing like too heavy. So one of the issues I have with the XC5 when it's muddy is that if I'm unclipped and the pedals are kicked in mud I struggle sometimes when I'm, I'm just trying to put my foot down on the pedal but not clip in if I need to constantly pop my foot out where there's really not much to grip on to the pedal. Um, so unless it's clipped in, there's basically not much around here that it can grip onto. They're fairly small pedals. So I'm hoping that with these things having a lot more grip around, that I can still grip onto these pedals even when I'm not clipped in. And uh, I guess I'll find out about that. Also, on longer rides, where I start to lose feeling in my toes, I'm hoping that these will actually make a difference. So I'm now off to um, have a ride with these boots on, and I will let you guys know how it goes. So, back to my ride. And uh, yeah, I love these boots. I went for a quick 20 kilometer ride, and within the first 20 minutes I've forgotten that I was wearing boots, I wasn't wearing my normal uh, shoes. The, the only thing I noticed at the start was a bit of a squeaking around where, where the boots rubbing around the pedal, which is a bit different to the shoe, um, but that quickly went away. And uh, yeah, um, actually the first thing that happened when I got my bike out was I managed to spill a little water on my feet from the bike cover and it just splashed off so water test done um, but yes highly recommended I think there's some more expensive versions of this out there uh, and if you need your boas and maybe sort of Gore-Tex instead of this sort of dry shield stuff maybe you prefer that but um, for a pretty decent price these are um, Highly recommended.